Well, our other big story at six, Republican Attorney General Mark Burnovich sued the Biden administration today. The lawsuit is an attempt to block a federal requirement that millions of workers get a COVID-19 vaccine or get tested for the virus. Team 12 political insider Brad Resnick reports that this lawsuit may have more to do with Brnovich's U.S. Senate campaign than with COVID. Arizona's attorney general laid claim to filing the first state lawsuit over the COVID requirements, but there are still no requirements in place. So Mark Brnovich trained his aim on a favorite target in his Senate campaign, the Department of Homeland Security. Republican Attorney General Mark Brnovich is taking on the White House. The president has no authority under the Constitution to even attempt to issue any rules that would require a vaccine, period. Brnovich, who's also running for the U.S. Senate, says he's launching a preemptive strike against the Biden plan to require that millions of workers get a COVID-19 vaccination or get tested for the virus. Our lawsuit right here is the, uh, the first salvo um, and pushing back against the federal government's vaccine mandates, but it will not be the last salvo. This first Brnovich lawsuit takes aim at his regular target on the campaign trail, the Department of Homeland Security. He claims Biden and DHS are illegally discriminating against Americans by not requiring vaccinations for undocumented immigrants who enter through the southern border. We're playing for real here. This isn't a game. The Biden vaccination requirement is aimed at states like Arizona. 50% of the state's population is fully vaccinated. That's below the national total of 54%. And people don't want them hammering down on them to get this vaccine. Republican Governor Doug Ducey has also pledged to push back on Biden's COVID requirements. So far, no word from the governor's office on a response. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.